You've seen how a listing is created using the auction style format on eBay. Now let's see how a fixed price listing works and what's different about it. We're going to go ahead and click sell and then sell an item just like we did before. We'll click start selling. And then over here, I'm going to pull up the title of the item I'll be selling. I'm going to sell a universal computer cable. This is a standard cable that you can use to plug into your computer. And for people that you know need a computer cable, this is a great thing to replace the one that might be broken. And then I'm going to go back on eBay and in this search box here, I'm going to paste in the proposed title that I'm going to be using. Now eBay will present a list of different categories. Now I earlier showed you how you could just select one of the suggested categories, but you can also browse categories. So over here, let me show you, I took some time to actually look up the category that would be appropriate for my item. It's computers and networking, computer accessories, cables and connectors and power cables. So let's browse through and see how that would look on eBay. So computers and networking, computer accessories, cables and connectors, power cables. So that's how you would browse to find a category. That's a little different than just using a suggested category. You can add a second category if you think the item warrants it. That gives you double the exposure on eBay, which is helpful for things that have a high value. And then in the next screen, we'll go ahead and paste in our title. And this item specific is a little bit different. You're asked if this is new or used. In US Coins, which was an earlier movie, you'll see that the item specifics were dramatically different. In this category, eBay wants to know and tell the sellers as well whether this is new or used merchandise. You can add your own item specifics to the listing. The item specifics attributes that eBay gives you allow you to sort of create your own roadmap for how buyers find your item. If you wanted to add item specifics, you could. I don't think this particular item warrants it. But we'll go ahead and add the pictures now. So I'll click on Add Pictures, click Add Pictures here, and I'll go back to my folder where I have the pictures. And I'm going to pick the Universal Computer Cable Photos. I'll just double check them to make sure that they're there. Yes, they are. I'll select the first photo. Now for something like this, I don't think you really need multiple photos. So even though I have two pictures of this item, I want to save the 15 cents. So I'm going to go ahead and skip the second photo. You have your additional options here, and then you can upload the photos to eBay. Now the photo's there, and I'm going to go ahead and put my description in. I copied it earlier, and here it is. I'd like to make this a little bolder, so I'm going to raise the font size to 18, and I'm going to change the color to red to have it stand out. You can use these tools here to make the fonts bold. I'll make a font bolder. I can make it italic. I can underline things. So if you wanted to underline specific text, you can do that. You can go ahead and use the centering tools here. If you want to center this or justify it left or right. You can also use the uh, unordered and bulleted list features here or use the indent options or spell check as well. And then we'll go ahead and continue as we did before. The thing is very different here is that you offer the item at a fixed price. There's no bidding, there's no competition, and you can also list multiples of the same item. I'm gonna put this at $12.95. I'm going to allow users on eBay to make best offers, and this is quite a bit different because you can automatically accept best offers or decline them. So if I know that I'm never gonna take any less than $8 for this computer cable, I can automatically decline any offer lower than $8. If I know that I'll always accept offers that are $10, I can go ahead and put in $10 as an automatic so that anybody offering at least $10 will automatically win the item. Then you can put in multiple quantities. If I have a thousand of these, I don't want to let people know that it's a thousand, but you know, you want to show some value. You don't want people to think you have just a ton of these. But if you have a thousand in stock, you might want to put 10 up at a time and sell them. And then you have listing durations. Now, durations for fixed price listings can be three, five, seven, 10 days, 30 days, or my favorite is good till cancel because I wanna sell this merchandise, I wanna give it the largest amount of exposure possible. Adding a longer duration like good till cancel means that it'll keep listing over and over again each month until all the quantity sells. You can start the listing immediately or schedule it, and I'm gonna start this listing immediately, but if I wanted to schedule it, I could do that with this tool right here. And then if you want to make a donation to charity, you can do that in the next section. And then we have a PayPal account, so we'll accept PayPal as a method of payment. This is slightly different because if someone purchases the item, I'm going to add this feature that requires them to make the payment immediately before they can end the listing on eBay. 
This is a pretty light item, so I'll use first class mail to ship it out. And I'll put down that it weighs five ounces because that's how much it actually weighs. And we offer combined discounts. So if somebody wanted to purchase multiples of these, I could not only add additional shipping options. Let's say I wanted to offer priority mail as an option as well for people that needed something quickly. I can also put in rules for combined shipping. So eBay offers combined shipping rules. If you want to put in some specific rules about multiple item purchases, you can offer your buyers discounts. You should take some time to click on these different links here and explore the different ways that you can combine shipping on your listings, which might help you sell more merchandise. It takes me a day or two to get things together when I've actually got a sale. So including the weekend, I'd like to give myself three days. And the Jiffy Mailer that I'm gonna to use to send out these items is about 50 cents, so I'm gonna put it there as well. And I'm gonna exclude some places that I would ship to. I don't necessarily wanna ship all over the world for something like this. I don't think the cable is necessarily going to be cost effective for someone in every country to purchase it. So I'm gonna go ahead and select places that I will not ship to because I don't think it's a good idea. I'll ship all over North America because postage is really cheap to send to Canada and Mexico. I will ship to these regions, Alaska and Hawaii and U.S. territories, plus military addresses and things like that. But I think for a power cable, it's pretty readily available in most places and probably not a good idea to ship overseas for those kind of things because the postage will be more than the item. Then I click continue. In the next section, I can offer additional enhancements. Because I have a lot of quantity available, I do want to get some additional exposure for this listing. So I'm going to add Gallery Plus, which puts a bigger picture of the item in the gallery search. I don't need a subtitle on this item because I think it's cheap enough and people can find it easily. I don't need to do that. Because I want to attract a lot of buyers, I'm going to put bold. My title will be bold in eBay searches. It'll stand out. And then you'll see here the cost of making the fixed price listing. Because I have multiple quantities to sell, I don't mind paying a little extra money for the promotion. The 50 cents is for the insertion fee and the gallery plus the bigger photos in gallery search is a dollar. Bolding the listing is $4 and my total cost will be $5.50, which if I'm selling multiples of a fixed price item, I don't mind paying the additional promotional fees. Now the listing is live on eBay and I can click here to see the listing and I'll see that it's active and I can see that there are 10 available. It offers the cost of shipping here and you can see that you can enter as a buyer. You can enter in the quantity you want to purchase or you can make an offer on the listing. There's virtually no difference in the steps you take to create a fixed price listing from when we actually sat down and made an auction style listing. Making a listing in an eBay store, if you decide to create one, is virtually identical too. An eBay account allows you to create different types of listings and selling vehicles is a bit more complicated. Since the majority of our students are going to be listing items in auction style, fixed price, or stores, we've stayed focused on these listing formats.